Hey, what's up, guys? So, I decide that I'm gonna put my 2004 Golf R32 for sale. Uh, if you gonna, if you are interested in buying it, I'm gonna put my email in the description and my phone number. You can text me and ask me any questions. Um, so let's walk around. Okay, you have new exhaust. Magna 4. Powder car, powder car, uh, powder corded black, wheel, black wheels. Uh, it have, it have new front or rotor, rotors, and back. New, new brakes front and back. Front have uh, stainless steel e ECS tuning uh, brake lines. These wheels have cost them. Uh, how we call this? Uh, Center cups and these rooms are powder coated black, all four, perfect condition. I don't see any scratches on it. Now, this car was painted by the first owner. The only thing was not painted was the hatch and the roof, and everything else was painted. The pen looks so uh, very good. I don't see anything bad about it. The car has uh, 70, 73,000 miles on it. I put a lot of work in it. They have new wipers. Now one small thing, if you can see, over here there's a small tiny chip, but well, this can be fixed very easy. And maybe I'm gonna fix it, I'm not sure yet. Depends if the car sells very quickly. Now, there's two things, small issues with a, with a car. Like you can see, it have check engine, it have check engine light on it and traction control light on it. Uh, as of right now, the car has 72,399 miles, if I'm correct. Now the traction uh, uh, traction control is on because I left my cab uh, back on the lifters, and the car was uh, left for about I would say one week. As soon as I put the cab down, the traction control light was on. And I did some research on it and it say when I'm gonna be driving the car, the computer have to calibrate. And after it calibrates, it will goes away. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just with the back, the back of my car. Right here. I lift this car up. Okay, I lift it, I lift this car up from here up for like one week. And it was, you know, going like triangle down. And that's how when the traction control went on which I'm pretty sure it's gonna go away with no issue. Now, the check engine light is on because I have small EVA bleak. Now, this radio is a safe on it. I have another probably 20 minutes driving and it's gonna change to the code. They have to put it in. I have the code, but the guy that sold me the car is the wrong code and it doesn't work. So, either you have two choices, either you can take it out this radio, replace it with the aftermarket, or you can go to dealership, take it out, get a code, and put it back on it. I'm pretty sure it's uh, cheaper and much better get aftermarket, uh, aftermarket uh, radio, and you'll be fine. Okay, I put new, or should I say, used steering wheel from somebody else, I bought it. This is gonna be a pressure gauge, it's not connected yet. I might connect it. I have the cables, I got everything on it. It's supposed to be oil pressure. They have Euro uh, light switch. Okay. The front seats are in mint condition. Okay, they are in mint condition. It match the handle. 
They match the steering wheel. Passenger side too. Doors. Bag is pretty much perfect too, except small thing I'm gonna show you. It look like small burn hole. I'm not sure, maybe somebody burned the hole or something happened here, which I'm pretty sure can be fixed. But that's up to you or whoever gonna buy it. Okay. Uh, the only thing, the next thing is missing, the sunroof is working. The only thing is missing is the color for the sunroof. I don't have one. When I bought the car, the guy didn't have one either. I'm not sure what happened with it. I am the second owner. I bought the car from the first owner. So I am the second owner. Okay, car drive with no issue, shifts perfectly. Okay, let's open up the hood. Let me see if I can do this one hand. Yes, sir. Oh, we got some things I gotta remove from here. So, it's missing the battery cover. That's how I got it from the first owner. Not sure what happened with it. It had new battery. Okay, it had new battery. Okay, now what I did with the, with the check engine light on it, with the EVAP, uh, EVAP uh, small leak EVAP went on. I did replace, uh, I forgot how we call this. I think solenoid valve, I did replace solenoid valve. So this one cost me 200 hours. I did replace it and uh, replace it on my own. I bought it from dealership, it was 200 hours around it. And also what I did, I bought brand new uh, leak detection pump, which was right here. I did replace it. This pump was almost 500 hours. And I still didn't resolve my issue. So I think the next step will be do the smoke test. And I'm pretty sure you can find it. But pretty much gonna be something simple. Uh, I have new new coolovers. Uh, I don't know if you can see maybe to this. I'm not sure what kind of coolovers I'll have to I will have to probably look back and front. Uh, I'm not sure what kind I'll have to look on the list what the owner gives me. So Cylinder valve, I, I, I did replace it and leak detection post was replaced. So, cylinder valve was like I was saying 200 hours. That uh, leak detection post was 500 hours. I do have receipt for it. Uh, recently, what I did to the car uh, spark plugs, tune up, oil change, uh, differential oil change, air filter, carbon filter. I did the whole maintenance on it. Okay. Uh, let's go to the back. Car, like I said, car drive mints, no issues, no problems. Okay, let's open up the back. is very clean circulated on it now one more thing I saw it yesterday when I was driving for some reason my tank is three quarter of gas but it shows zero so I think it's the um, I believe it's I'll do some research on it that let's say fuel sender has to be replaced so the pump the pump was replaced by our original owner i do i do have receipt i have the list what he gave me so if somebody's interested i can send you the email or text you so fuel issue with uh showing the how much is the fuel so i believe you're gonna need fuel sender the pump was replaced by the original owner so i'm not sure either he he didn't replace the right way or he just replaced the pump and the fuel sender's original i'm not sure but like i say it doesn't give me no problem now when the gas tank goes to halfway it shows half gas so for some reason for some reason when i fill it up all the way it doesn't show but when the gas drops to halfway it shows me exactly on and off all the time so i'm pretty sure it's the fuel sender issue with it uh now the stack radio is missing the plastic here 
which I have it some here I put it on this one it look like the clip is inside broken I'm not sure if this can be gluing or not but I would just recommend change the whole radio this open with no issue no problem like I said the car is pretty good condition don't have any issue with it okay so the asking price what I'm gonna be asking is twenty three thousand dollars okay uh, if you want the car to ship I can help you with that but I prefer you do all the paperwork you take care of the shipping and I can help with the car you know in a truck or whoever gonna come I can take a video make sure the car you know comes to you with no damage like I said in the video you can see you can see there's no damage anywhere okay there's no badge but the car is a little bit dirty because I was driving and it was running today a little bit okay uh, and I believe this wiper this wiper has to be replaced because it's, it looks like it's original they have aftermarket lights uh, in the back uh, so like I, like, I, like I said again if you guys are interested just uh, you can send me email or text me and we take care from them. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.